Hello YouTube! It's that time where I do that thing where I look at stuff that I haven't looked at before. Um, and then you hear me doing it and it's really cool. So, today it is a Decocrate day. Ah, uh, now I had rather stupidly thought that Decocrate comes out on the 10th and it doesn't. So that's why I'm doing this now rather than, I don't know, some short while earlier. Sorry. So, Deco Crate, for those of you who don't know and didn't watch my previous video on it, is a subscription box. Um, it is all decor items. It's run by Mad P and it's very good. It's, uh, before it comes out each month, it's 1500 Lindens, and then afterwards you can get the, this one for all the previous month's ones, yes, for 3,000 Lindens uh, at the Deco Crate headquarters, which I will link in the description below. Uh, so it comes in this big trunk that I could actually live in. It's so big. Well, you know, if I was one of those tiny houses people, but I'm not. I'm kind of a hoarder. Um, so, you know, someone who was my size could. Uh, and it's lovely and nicely animated. Look, click, open. And each of the drawers opens, and I have this time already clicked unpack all and received all the goodies. I have arbitrarily decided that we will start at the bottom of the list um, of things that were delivered and unpacked. Uh, and so we'll be starting out with the chamois furniture's balloon bed. Uh, it comes in adult and PG, and I will be looking at the PG one because, you know, um, very PG. Um, and also there are two versions of each of those. There is the Balloon Bed PG Chimois and the Hovering Flight one. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the, uh, the theme of this month's Deco Crate is Timeless Romance because it's February and everyone loves February. Oh, it's over here. Hello. Oh, how cute! Wow, that seems that seems unsafe to be doing adult things on. It it seems like you might, you know, do yourself a mischief. But oh, how adorable though! Look, the balloons are really good balloons. They've got like great a a a a a helium in them because they are holding this mattress up. Oh, I love it. It is severely cute. So what's the hovering one? I wonder if the hovering one just like, you know, goes up and down. <gasps> it does! Oh, that's so romantic. Uh, you know, with the aforementioned, be careful. Because you, you, you really don't want to romantically fall off. So let's take a look at some of the animations uh, on this PG version. We have single female, single male, and love poses. I am, as ever, single female with unattached ankles, I notice. Good old me. Um, we have champagne, um, which I should probably attach or else I'm doing un-PG things with that champagne. Um, oh, it's magic champagne. Oh, there it is. Yay! Champagne. Or what else can I do? I can flies attack. No, it's deadly. Oh, they're, they're not. That that. Okay. <sighs> See, I remember in Sims 2, or maybe Sims 1. It was Sims 1 actually. If your house got too dirty, then flies could legit kill you. They just like come zooming in, and you would die of flies. It 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 was it was a scary time for me. I had some issues there. Oh, what else can I do? I can laze. Ooh, yeah. I look pretty about it. And I can side chat. That's my butt. I can edge sit. I can edge swing. I'm, I'm being very careful about this. It's nice. I can ground sit. That's not the ground. That's that's I'm not in the ground at all. But anyway, this is the Chimois Hovering Flight Bed. And I assume the adult version has all the adult things that you adults wanna do on a bed. But uh, as I keep saying, please be careful. 
You know, SL doesn't have good health care. You, you don't want to have to put your trust in, in, you know, SL clinics. Oh dear, no. This is the Chamois bed. It's lovely and yeah. Next on our decorative agenda is the Revival Garden Retreat, which comes, ha comes, in, comes in two versions and two colors. So let's start out with the gray. Garden Retreat 1 Gray. I assume it'll be a small structure. Oh, here it is! Oh, it's so cute! It's like a little sort of little shed. Or a, um... I can't remember the word, but it is really nice. That is very, very usable. It's made of nice wood. This is the gray. And if I put out the white, I assume it'll be whiter. So that's the gray and white versions of the Revival Garden Retreat. It's like a little covered bench you could put at any po point in a garden uh, to shelter you from the wind. It's got glazed windows. Um, it doesn't shelter you from the wind if the wind is coming from the front, though. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's not like a magic garden retreat. I just tried to res out the... the retreat two and I oh there it is oh the two has like little a little bucket of tulips on the side I love tulips tulips are actually my favorite flower oh that's adorable that's really really cute let's have a look at some of the animations on it so we have male female and cuddles these are really cute this would just make you you know a very adorable picture in this sort of pose with the um you know, with the windows all around and your dangerous floating bed behind you. you. You don't need to have the dangerous floating bed behind you. That is not essential to the process. Um, female eight. Yes, this actually would be quite a nice prop. You know, because it, it just forms a, a pleasant little set around you. But, you know, also just a beautiful thing for your garden. Very simplistic. It would fit in with... A lot of different decor. Let's just take a quick look at the cuddles. Alone. Alone cuddles. I'm cuddling here. I'm coupling there. Yes. This is so cute. This is very, very usable. It's kind of like a little beach hut without the front. Moving on to the Kiki refurbished spring drawer, which I saw a preview of this and is adorable. I am dying already. Um. But that, that won't save you from me talking about how cute and adorable it is because, oh my god, I just, I am crazy about it. Um, if it reses, I, I need to find a different surface to res on because shit's always resing at the front. It's sad. But here it is. Look, look how cool this is. Look how incredibly cool this is. It is a chest of drawers with slightly shabby paint and it has been repurposed as a flower planter with beautiful spring flowers. So you know how I said tulips are my favorite flower? Really, spring flowers are my favorite flower. Look, crocuses, croci? Crocuses, these guys. I love these flowers so much. This contrast with the saffron, pur saffron purple, saffron and purple, and snowdrops. Oh, it's so pure and beautiful. I really like this a lot. This is like playing to my interests. I, I don't know enough about flowers to know what these guys are but they are my favorite kind of flowers and I love them. And that is the Kiki Refurbished Spring Draw. Our fourth thing in the um, February 2017 deco crate is the Goose Pallet Hang Bed. Lots of dangerous beds this round, I feel like. Hey, look, I put an invisible prim down over the floor so things res where I expect them to now, which is nice, but then my camera did that. Oh, it's so cute. Stop calling things cute. Stop calling things nice. Have some adjectives. It is indeed a palette, but it has been comfied up with a mattress and a bolster pillow and the string. The string has lights on it and an adorable shabby chic blanket, which matches the pillow. And it has single and cuddle sits. Here are some of these singles. I can feel like, oh, I wish I was like, you know, with other people and stuff on my hanging bed and... Oh, maybe it's supposed to go that way around. Yes, 
It has nice single scents and eight different cuddles. But, you know, some of these cuddles it looks like you can be on your own with and you don't look like too much of a Billy Gnome. It's all the, this one you do. I'm just sitting, talking to my invisible love. Someone should write a song called that. Not me, though. There's my belly button. I tried to cover it up, but it's not happening. And that is the Goose Palette Hang Bed, which is hanging from nothing right now because it doesn't even have balloons. You could attach balloons. You could make a bunk bed. You could make a bunk bed out of the Chez Moi hovering bed and this bed, and it would be like, like magical hover beds for everyone, forever. Stockholm and Lima's Lover's Trail is what's next, and it comes in his and hers versions, which is of interest. What is my AO doing? I'm all like, yeah, over there. Um, so let's take a peep at hers, because I am a her, and then we'll maybe have a look at the his, see what the difference is. Oh, it's awesome! Look, it's clothes. It's discarded clothes. Oh, that's lovely. I love that. Look, I, look, look, starry bloomers and pink panties. I don't wear pink. And a, sh a crumpled up shirt that says, I love you. Oh, that's really great. Because I, you know, I've shown my room before. I really like having clothes dropped on the floor. Because um, I'm a messy, messy, messy person. And here is the his version. The his version. Ooh, kissy underwear. And, oh, I'm dying. My heart is dying. The his says I know. Oh, I'm dying. Um, okay, and, uh, and, and some plaid pajamas bottoms. Oh, see, I just thought that was cute. And now, oh, you guys, you guys. Okay, so that is the Stockholm and Lima Lover's Trail, which is less scary than I was anticipating and absolutely delightful. Mm -hmm. There was me thinking I was like just exactly so Star Wars with, with, my, with my fade wipes that I've been putting in because I'm super pro. And then they threw a Star Wars reference at me and I'm like, aww. Um, anyway, next in what we're talking about is the N4RS Tuscany bath set, which might be said NARS, I don't know, but N4RS Tuscany bath set, which is PG. Uh, the fact that they specify that it's PG makes me wonder if, like, perhaps there will be an adult version you could pick up at the main store or something. I don't know, but this is the PG version. It is, ooh, a very nice tub, very stylish. It's like a metal tub, but it's like, you know, streamlined for speed oh it's it's like outdoorsy oh that's cute oh i like how rustic this is i think i've even got a place i can put this look it's got a post with a towel on it and then a very rustic a very rustic shower and it also comes with a mat an outdoor mat see it even says outdoor right there oh one of these duck boards i used to have one of these in real life but i don't anymore i have a bath mat from Ikea. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I figured that was important knowledge to know, but okay, I'm going to take a bath in my clothes. It has single animations and couple animations, and I can put the water on. Yep, I'm getting very soggy now, um, but I like it. Yes, this is a nice souring animation. It's not too like, um, you know, it's not trying to be sexy, it's just I'm taking a shower. What, what, why are you watching me shower in my clothes in the yard? I'm just trying to get clean. Really, just, just you voyeurs. <sighs> but it's got, it's got bath poses as well as shower poses, such as bath wash. And, ah, it does fill up with water. Bath relax. Bath relax F. Oh, that's nice. And you see, the thing is, um, with the with this with this being so big, is that you've got your couple poses, and you know you you could probably just like sit together in a tub. You know, you don't even have to be all like Neil Cuddle 
or massage her or anything you could just be all like chilling in the tub together and that's nice too because sometimes you just want to sit in a elongated metal tub it's a beautiful i really like the shape of it it reminds me of like you know 30s cars so that's the i'm gonna say nas because it's easier tuscany bath set our next thing is the nomad venetian gondola now a gondola is a boat but i i don't know if we're going to be boating here but we shall see we have a gondola and a gondola pole here comes the gondola Ooh, it's big it's big and it's romantic oh yeah see that's beautiful i love nomad stuff it's huge wow i wonder if you really could gondol with it and gondola pole oh this is like a like a like a mooring pole and it looks delicious but yes this is like the the boats that they have in venice as you may have been able to gather from venetian it is very very beautiful very intricate the design on it has a nice bench let's see what our seating options are it has cuddles and it has single poses i don't quite know where you'd put this well i mean you know if you had a full sim or or a large amount of land you could easily put this there and it, with a swap we can go over there is there any more seats just the two and the cuddles that's all I have to give and comfort and each time with beautiful names for them but for the couple's poses and it is a beautiful beautiful thing it doesn't fit on my land but it is very very nicely made indeed and I love the inclusion of the pole which is festive and I don't just mean that in like a Christmas way I mean like um you know cheerful looking Mud Honey's Ginny beds are next. It's to be expected this month that there'll be a lot of beds because people like to do beddy things. Um, the Ginny bed comes in adult and PG and in neutral and vintage colorways. So let's raise out the neutral and let's raise out the vintage. Oh, it's up there. Really, I put this prim down so it doesn't be all like... And... Life is hard, you guys. Life is hard. So we rotate these oh they're nice i feel like a hotel because i've read them like next to each other like like you know like a hotel but they are really cute beds very pretty with a nice headboard and heart shaped pillows all romantic and then you know a little more spicy over here let's have a seat and by myself all by myself um i can be so chill oh i am look i'm all like flop i can wait oh no i can't hey i can be a lady oh i've got script errors i'm sorry yes my my, my head is broken hmm. maybe there'll be an update to this because these poses aren't quite working but then there are also couples poses i can be in love I could be loving. I could be online. I am. It's like life. See, this works. This works great. So, yes, right now the singles poses aren't working best, but these couples poses seem to be working great. There is more poses. There. Oh, afterglow. Hi. Yeah. I could be inflamed. I could instigate. Um. I can be zen um yeah and so yeah there are the two color options this one the neutrals and that one the vintage and it's very cute oh look i don't have the script error on the on the neutrals so that works i can be texting this, this seems like this seems like typical bed activities perfect yeah, so that is the Mud Honey Ginny bed, which is very, very pretty and very usable. I love lamp, and this is fortunate because the next thing is the Hextraordinary Antique Cherub Lamp, which is a lamp with a cherub, and it's kind of antique -y. Um, It is really beautifully done. I mean, the, the texturing on it is, is wonderful. 
it's got a nice sort of in-game style and yeah it's just a it's just a nice antique lamp with a cherub it feels luxy and nice and it turns on and off click 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 and yeah it's a nice lamp it is exactly what it says it is the sorry sorry repurposed cart is what is next and what kind of cart is it we don't know is it a shopping cart is it a horse and cart is it a snack cart i hope it's a snack cart but we will res it out and we will find out gosh be patient please oh so it's like a it's like a like a dolly you know like like for transporting things around except it's repurposed so it's it's got a little mattress and a blanket and pillows on it. Now Sari Sari always has lovely animations. <gasps> oh, it has bento animations. How cool. Oh, I love it. Look, I'm looking at my nails. Like, and I'm actually looking at my nails, not just looking at my hand. Oh, it's so exciting that things have got like 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 wiggly fingers and stuff in them now. I, I, it's magic. It's beautiful. Oh, and here's the pose one that was taking a little while to, to show up. I really, really like that, you know, as more and more people are adopting bento stuff, bento hands, bento heads, etc, etc, and plus bento wings and things too, then, you know, the technology is getting integrated into stuff, the animations and things. So that's lovely. I love it. I really like, I just, I just like that my hands move. There are couples poses too. I don't know if those are bento. I can't tell if the label is too short, but I think they are because my fingers are all curled in. Oh, that's so nice. It's really cute. Yay, so that is the Sorry Sorry Repurposed Cut. Oh, look, I'm so happy. I, I, I'm a bit toothless, but aww, that's great. That's seriously great that it has um, facial expressions built in because I always felt like, you know, especially in couples poses, like I was very, very vacant face you know very just like stare straight forward and even the ones that had you like you know do one of the built-in second life facial expressions was just like e, you know but now i can i can vaguely emote with my unattached ankles i put an ankle lock on and everything it, it just isn't cooperating life is hard I have dimmed the lights for this next section because the next thing is the second space's mood lighting. And so I figured I'd make the lighting a little moodier. Incidentally, you can see the, uh, the nice shininess on the chamois balloons back there, which is very nice and pretty and nice. So the second space's mood lighting are just some lovely candles. You got circle left and right skyline full and left and right and tabletop one and two and yes they're just a set of really beautiful candles that you can just scatter all over the place and you know have various configurations of and you probably won't even burn your house down with them which you know makes them much better than real life um i'm just gonna res each out here by the way, last video, the second space is, um, there was a table which had lights on it and I really missed the trick by not dimming the lights for that because the twinkle lights on that were just beautiful. I saw it in, um, Alicia's video afterwards and I was like, damn, I should have done that. Um, which is the story of my life, honestly. But as you can see, these are extremely useful and beautiful candles. And you know that they're, they're all um, they're all you know cream colored, and so they are easy to tint to your decor and so on. They are they remind me a little of like you know LED candles. You know um, that the flame doesn't really flicker much, but I think that's fine. I think these are really nice, and I think. These would be a lot of fun to just scatter around in different corners of a room and just create mood. Next by Vagabond, we have Riel's Valance. And I'm not quite sure what a Valance is. It's a word I've heard before. Um, and I think it means something frilly of some description, but I'm not sure of the nature of the frilliness. So 
let us discover the nature of the frilly of Riel's Valance. And it looks like it is a curtain, which is what I thought it might be. I specifically thought it was the part at the top of a um, curtain. You know, it's like boxy at the top sometimes to cover the thing. But this is actually a full curtain and it has many pretty little features. It attaches with this flowery part and the little knobs for it are hearts with beautiful keys hanging off them. I wonder why the keys lead. And it's got some twinkle lights at the top. And is it? Oh, it's got different colors. We've got this one. Oh, this must be cream. This is the beige just loading now. Oh, very warm. But damask. Not to be confused with the mask. Oh, it is a lovely, you know, damask pattern. It's pretty. And floral beige. Floral beige, which is beige and floral. It's got this little rose pattern on it in a nice faded way. Yeah, that would be very nice in lots of rooms to, um, oh, like to go around a bed, perhaps. Like at a bed head. That would be nice. Or just to frame things. Or, you know, to put by a window if, if you are, you know, crazy like that. So yes, that is Vagabond's Brielle's Balance, and it's pretty. I've gone ahead and rezzed out Pew Pew's Timeless Romance set in advance because it is big and we know that I am perfectly capable of failing on big things. So it is a bulk scene that I rezzed out. This is like the, um consolidated version but it also has each individual part uh, it comprises of the romance ruin wall which is a very beautiful well I like derelict stuff so I think it's very beautiful very beautiful broken down brick wall with these like you know branchy trees growing up around it um, which I think is very very pretty it has a bench, a stone bench covered in lichen and things. As with everything this round, it has male, female, and couple poses, including backstretch and onside and hopple. Oh, I like that pose. That's a very pretty pose. I like that. Plus the couple poses, including feel so right and one love. And eight good sit cud, the most romantic of all. Um, also included are these little rounded candles. That's literally their name. They have a beautiful flame on them. And in this consolidated version, then they're scattered nicely on these little window cells. And the planks and poems, which are scattered planks with poems on them. If I thought for just one moment that this would be my last breath, I'd tell you I'll love you forever, even beyond death, and so on. And yes, that's the Pew Pew Timeless Romance set. Uh, I think this this wall alone is, is brilliant and could be used in many, many scenarios, but everything in it is very pretty. The Serenity Style All For Love suitcase is next, um, so it's also a consolidated object and it's a suitcase apparently and it's All For Love. Here it is. It's a pretty suitcase. Oh, with love letters in it. Well, presumably they're love letters. They're some, some letters and roses and cards that say cards. I, I don't know why the cards say cards, but they do. Oh, it's just, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's it's um it's like a mailbox for putting your Valentine's cards in. Oh, that's nice. I like that. It's very pretty, very delicate. And yes, it's just a sweet little thing. Just a sweet little thing to add some pretty. Finally, in the February 2017 deco crate, we have Cheeky Pea's Forgotten Places Fireplace. That comes in two versions, fresh and worn. So here is the fresh and here is the worn. It's bigger than I thought. It's 
big fireplace. Well, I suppose maybe it's like a, got a whole chimney breast thing going on. Oh, it does. Ooh. Sorry, my, my reaction got more and more as I as I started looking at that. Oh, that is so... Oh, look at that. See, it's got this mirror with this Art Nouveau like styling around it. And oh, a drape and candles. Ooh! Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I think I... I'm sorry. I'm excited. I'm very excited right now. It's got a rose by it and a book. And you can see you can res those out. And you can turn the candles on. Oh, with a really warm light. Did you see how the... the light sort of changed on it? Oh, that's beautiful! And then there's a... there's a dark version too which is, as, as they say, worn, which is for a bit more of a actually forgotten place. Oh, that's so nice. I'm sorry, I just got so excited when I first saw it. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is the Cheeky P Forgotten Places fireplace, and it is gorgeous. Time now to do the credits, as I tend to do. Okay, so my hair is from a gacha by wasabi pills at the chapter four it is happy two it is a very pretty messy bun happy one is very similar but has bangs that go straight across my eye makeup is by shiny stuffs and it is from the wing it pack i'm very excited that um that shiny stuffs has started to do uh makeup for le lutka now for a while they only did it for catwa because I really like their stuff. In this case, these little, this got these little like gems under the eyes, and I love the colors of this one. And just, I really like shiny stuffs. Now my lips are by Pink Fuel. They are the Fresh Tints lip pack. Uh, now this is um, an Omega pack. Uh, it's built for logo and for Omega. And it comes with so many different uh, beautiful sheer glosses with different varying levels of opacity. And what I'm particularly interested in is the dolly lips where they're sort of faded around the outside. Sorry, I, I, I demonstrated in real life by pointing at my mouth. You, you can't see that. But you know, faded around the outside of the lip. I love that. So I was really excited to discover that, that even though it's not Le Lutka specific, it's something I can wear comfortably. My sweater is from the Secret Store. Katya sweater in um, in black and white. I love the folksy uh, style of this. I got the backpack of it and some of the brighter colors are just, you know, they're, they're just so bold and gorgeous and really just lovely. Uh, my jeans are the Adams Rockstar jeans. They're very mix and matchable. You can change the knees and the legs and the stripe down the side and all this. And it is worth noting that if you are watching this right now, Adams is having a half price sale on many of its fat packs. So bite your way in. My failed attempt to cover my belly is courtesy of Snatch who do very nice, you know, among, among other things, of course, they do very nice applier clothing, which is excellent for layering. My nails are by Hello Day, and you can't see them, I'm sorry. Uh, they're a group gift. They're called Midnight, and these particular ones are a matte midnight blue with a beautiful sparkle French tip. I love them. Uh, my shoes are very quite old um, by Biestis. They are the London shoes, and I believe this is the graffiti version. Yes, London sneakers graffiti. Um, and that is my look for the day. And uh, that is my Decorate unboxing. And that is that. Goodbye!